Hello foodies and welcome back to the Raina's Kitchen. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Look at this plate in front of us. All right, so I've been getting a lot of requests. Yo, make some rundown. Oh, <laughs> All right, so that's what we're making today. Some mackerel rundown, some salt mackerel, not tin mackerel. Tin mackerel can't even run down. Anyways, stay tuned. Right, so let's get started. So I have my flour right there with a little caramel, a little salt, make some dumpling. You can use a coconut block or you can use a coconut, whichever you want to use. But I'm going to be using a coconut block. I made this. It's the middle of the week. Just want to look at express service. I have my yellow yam right there. Before that was the white sweet potato. Um, <laughs> I have my green banana, about three, four finger banana. The plantain, <laughs> um, plantain, or plantain, however you want to call it. All right, so yeah, some nice ground provision. And I have the, um, the this is Sea Star um, Seafoods. I picked this up at the Jamaican grocery store. I think it's about 10 ounces. And it is in brine. It's already deboned. So I don't have to worry about, you know, removing any bone. I think I saw a few bones sticking out. Just, um, I'm just washing it off. I'm going to add it to some cold water. I'm going to bring it to a boil. Once I bring it to a boil, I'm going to remove it and rinse it off again because this thing is salty. You know what? I have blood pressure from salt mackerel. <laughs> All right. It is very salty. So I washed it twice. It's like when I used to eat um, pigtail. I mean, pigtail in years, but yeah, salty. So. All right, so this was the last time I brought it to a boil twice, just um, washing it off this last time. And then what I'm gonna do, the macro have this outside layer. Um, I always scrape it off. Um, you know, just kind of see that little gunk right there. It's, sometimes it's like little, um, yeah, just use, I just use a, the back of the knife and scrape it off. That part needs to go. <laughs> All right. So you don't, you don't want that in your, um, in your rundown. All right. So I'm just going to scrape this off and then I'm going to, you know, break it up and everything. Um, while it was actually boiling, I was kneading my flour. So my dumpling, um, I'll just be ready to make those get everything going I already cut up all my seasoning um, so yeah I like to multitask so when I'm cooking I'm in and out the kitchen when I'm not time for stay in that kitchen all day all right so just breaking it up just you know break it up into I usually leave it in big pieces so it doesn't you know come in like mince meat in the pot so I just leave it in big pieces or uh, you can cut it up whatever you want to do with it but I'm just gonna like I said just remove that excessive um, outside layer it's very easy to scrape off and you can tell once you boil it how easy and it's um, yeah and then like I said just taste it make sure you don't have enough salt but we're gonna add some seasoning to this like you know look a all-purpose seasoning some fish seasoning the coconut milk it's gonna be so nice so delicious all right so there it is my dumpling it my flour already need I'm just gonna um, Make sure it's covered up with some uh, with a wet paper towel so it's really manageable once I'm ready to make it. So I'm just putting um, one plantain, um, either you call it plantain or plantains, you know, Jamaica was a plantain, but everybody don't know what I mean already. All right, so I'm using the banana already, you know, make sure you wash everything off, put them in um, cold water. Um, you can put a little lime lemon juice just to make sure they you know don't change color with that process of um, oxid where everything become oxidized and see this one's starting to change color with my yellow yam but see how pretty it was and if you look all of the yellow yam says a product of Jamaica all right all right so all right as you can see my dump my dough was already kneaded so I usually do that first to let it sit and rest um, like I said, it's a lot more manageable to make the dumpling and they come out nice and smooth and you know Just the, the right and I have a dumpling recipe you can scroll down on my channel so you can see it. So um, Just getting my water ready I'm going to put the dumpling in this pot the smaller pot and then I'll put the rest of the ground provision like the banana and the yam and the um, Sweet potato in the larger pot 
and I'm using coconut oil which is my favorite oil but you can use any oil of your choice I mean the coconut milk well I'm using the coconut cream that block has um, a lot of coconut in it so this is just gonna enhance it some more um, so yeah I'm adding my green bananas like I said all of those to one pot I mean you can also you can put everything in one pot but um, the sometimes you know the green banana will stain up the dumpling make it ugly but just make sure you add some oil and also put some salt in the pot water you don't want to forget that because you don't want the food to be just fresh just add you know salt to taste and you can use your discretion so i have all look at this beautiful array of vegetables right here um i'm gonna add some now and i'm gonna reserve some for the end um so like my um mackerel can still have a little pops of colors at the end see how nice and look at the taste the rainbows like you know look at that array of sunshine so just get everything seasoned up right here and then i'm gonna add my coconut block and like i said if you don't want to you know add some people use canned coconuts if you don't have access to the block the powdered coconut so just see whatever is available in the in your market or um, you can actually go on Amazon on my Amazon storefront, which is www.amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash um, the Rainness Kitchen. I have all these any coconut product except the dry coconut. So, and um, just add a little salt. So there I am adding just using vegetable oil to add to the water. So I'm adding my coconut block right here. I'm just going to cover it up so it can start melting, and that process probably will take maybe. 10 to 15 minutes just on low and um, just let that do its thing so everything is going see my um, pot over there with the ground provision I have my um, mackerel starting off in the middle loosening up the coconut um, put the rest of the ingredients to the back and I'm gonna start making my dumpling and like I said you can scroll down on my channel I have a dumpling recipe the dumpling video um, that's like one of the biggest requests and dumpling is the easiest thing to make you can do it with or without gloves I'm you know use the gloves I have my nails on but you know keep everything nice and clean there it is but um yeah so anything you um wanna any any of these recipes um that you wanna scroll back and look at I have over 70 recipes and counting I am loading up about um sometimes one every day to my channel all right so the coconut seed dissolve melt everything good now i'm just gonna add some water to this you know to run you know get like a nice like a run down the the oil gonna be seeping up to the top because you know marker oh right there that's my scorpion pepper i have these in my backyard oh if you look at my previous video i made some nice um pepper sauce with um <laughs> with these scorpion peppers so yeah make sure you go back and check so yeah, so I, I added a little water to this now and I'm just gonna cover it up for a little and then I'm gonna, you know, add my mackerel, see my food almost ready. And the great thing is the mackerel is already cooked from the boiling process. I probably boiled it for like maybe anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes, just depends. Um, but it's already cooked, it's partially, it's almost ready. So once I add it to this pot, yeah, let me go ahead and drop the scorpion piece of the tail in because let me tell you, this pepper is so hot, it does not require much. Sometimes I just drop it in there, but you know, um, mackerel needs some pepper. You know, your food needs a little spice, but don't do the overkill because this will kill your entire meal. <laughs> All right, so um, see the coconut look nice and custard. You can get this. I know some people say use a regular coconut, but you can get the same effect by using the coconut cream. It, it trust me, it tastes just like using a um, that block coconut. It's, it was just like using a regular coconut so it's so nice and sweet that sweet coconut taste you know so it, it trust me it just turned out delicious my grandmothers used to make this growing up well everybody in my family <laughs> but yeah i always remember my grandmother making this so yeah you need a little water in there to have a little gravy or you know like a sauce whatever you want to call it so yeah just um and the mackerel, um, like I said, sometimes you can find it in that little fillet pack um, or sometimes it's in a bucket if you go to the farmer's market. So make sure you look out, that might be another option, all right? So just gonna cover this up and my dumpling is ready. Um, also, like I said, make sure you add some salt to the pot. You don't want the food to be fresh. But you know, it's like everything just gonna be married together, nice 
um, flavors working together. All right, so this has been, you know, simmering um, for a good, I'd say, 20 to 30 minutes now. So that's why you need those fresh vegetables, well, fresh ingredients back there. So I'm adding about a teaspoon of um, all-purpose seasoning, and I'm adding about a teaspoon of fish seasoning. And you know, just taste it, just make sure, but this was needed. That, that gave it that nice kick, that seasoning. Oh my goodness, this was so good. If you hear me say so good one more time, I mean, but tell you, so it did nice. All right, so at this point, I'm just gonna drop the mackerel in. And like I said, you can leave it in big chunks. Just, you know, some of it is gonna break up along the way. That's why I leave it in the bigger chunks. And um, as you can see, the dumpling is about cooked. It starts to float. That's always like, I know dumpling is ready when it starts floating. I have my banana pot, with the, the pot over there with all the ground provision, the banana, the yam, the, the sweet potato, and the um, plantain. All right, so that's basically ready. So the mackerel, that should be ready, you know, 10 minutes and uh, it's good. So I'm just, you know, freshening up the pot. Probably not even 10 minutes, probably about once I add everything in, just cover it up for about five minutes. You know, I still have those pops of colors. I'm adding like uh, the, the remainder of the, some onions, some um, the sweet peppers. I am adding the tomatoes, some more scallion, some fresh thyme and um yeah then after that i'm just gonna you know you can add a little water to get a little bit more saucy but it's gonna spring forth some oil like with it being covered the pot is gonna be sweating underneath <laughs> i'm steaming not sweating but you know we'll call it <clears throat> so it's gonna um yeah cover it up and um get you a, a plate you can add some avocado or a pear whatever you call it so just gonna cover it up right there and there it is see how nice that looks that's probably about after five minutes nice um my friends from grenada they call it um oil down <laughs> you know we call it run down but or i think all down is different but yeah but my friend they still call this oil down anytime i make it they was like hey you made a good oil down <laughs> okay see how beautiful everything looks oh my goodness it was more than beautiful it was delicious some good old run down run come and love this y'all gonna love this so good look at my plate only thing i did not add to this plate was my pear avocado but yeah i did have some on the side so there it is i am enjoying this meal i hope you enjoy this video make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell thank you again for watching have a great day i will see you on the next video so bless up every time all right bye bye